Building security into the software development lifecycle is important for a number of reasons. Not only do you have more secure software as a result, um, but you also actually have software that is much cheaper to maintain. So it's beneficial to both the users of the software as well as the developers of the software. It's critical we build security into the full software development lifecycle because it's so much more expensive and cumbersome and it, it introduces so much additional risk if we want to, to band-aid problems after the fact. Uh, it's more economic, it's more responsible, it's, uh, it avoids rework. So there are efficiency, security, safety, privacy, and other business drivers that just make common sense to do this. And that's why it's a shame we haven't really evolved to the culture yet where we've figured that out. Uh, much like quality, uh, it's, it's much easier to engineer quality in than to, to, to measure the lack of it at the end of the process. Uh, and not only is it more efficient, it's also our, our software security failures are increasing in consequence as we make software and connectivity into every aspect of our lives. So effectively what we've been doing is coming after the fact and trying to fix problems that we should have fixed way before the fact. This is all foundational stuff. If you build a house on a bad foundation, then what happens? Effectively, you build a house that can look amazing, but when anything happens at all or over time, it I mean, it's going to completely debilitate the capability of the house to actually stay. In. So what we're doing is we're always chasing that tail. We need to flip it around and build the foundation stronger. Software is uh, a very integral component of not just our professional lives, but also our personal lives. Uh, and what we see today is the fact that or while on one hand we need to make sure that it is secure and what's at stake if it's insecure is for professional organizations, it's the loss of a brand or name, uh, sometimes impeding business itself. On the other hand, from a, from a, from a uh, personal standpoint, uh, in some cases insecure software can actually lead to, uh, to disastrous effects on life itself and the sanctity of life. Um, I'll give you an example like SQL injection and cross-site scripting attacks. You read them in the news and you see how like billions of records have been stolen from some company. Uh, while that's impactful on the business side of things, we're living in a world where embedded devices like medical devices and you know insulin pumps and pacemakers and other things uh, also have software running in them. And when those get breached, we are now talking about life and death consequences. So software is so integral in both professional angles as well as in the personal angle. And, um, and I think that's why it's so important to build security into the software itself uh, as it's being built from requirements to release.